The ASUS C100 is more commonly known as the Chromebook Flip, and while it may have the same guts as the budget-friendly ASUS C201 I reviewed last month, this Chromebook is very different. The Flip packs honest-to-goodness metal on its outside, an IPS touchscreen display, and four usage modes. It's also only 10.1 inches, but costs nearly $100 more than the other rock-chip-powered Chromebooks. Learn all about the pros and cons of this device here in my full review of the Chromebook Flip. Starting from the outside in, the Chromebook Flip has an aluminum case with a plastic 360 degree hinge. When facing the device in laptop mode, the left side has a volume rocker, the power on-off switch, as well as the proprietary reversible charging input. The right side has a micro HDMI port, two USB 2.0 ports, a micro SD card slot, and the headphone microphone jack. On the bottom of the device are two stereo speakers, which unfortunately will always be facing away from the user. The flip comes in at just under two pounds and offers between six and nine hours of battery depending on the type of use. Opening up the device, the Flip has a bright IPS display with solid viewing angles. While it is a crisp and pleasant display, it also has quite a bit of glare and is lower resolution than typical 10-inch tablets at 1280x800. This is also a touch-enabled panel with 10 points of multi-touch input. The keyboard on the Flip is small but well designed. The keys themselves feel excellent with surprising travel, but being a smaller than normal keyboard does result in typos and errors until you adjust to it. That said, I found this keyboard to be better than I expected based on my experience with other 10-inch hybrids and 2-in-1s. The trackpad is likewise very responsive but a little bit cramped. Like most Chromebooks, the responsiveness is there with both single finger and multi finger gestures, but the actual pad itself is very much on the small side. Powering this device is the Rockchip 3288 SoC, a 1.8 GHz system on chip with integrated GPU. The Flip has 16 GB of internal storage and comes with either 2 or 4 GB of RAM. The, this is literally the same internals as the ASUS C201 and performance is exactly the same as that device. Octane scores are around 7000 and the system boots in under 10 seconds. Despite the low octane score, the Flip and its Rockchip peers are actually responsive in real, real world use. For a budget device, I found that pages rendered quickly and scrolling via touch input or trackpad was generally smooth only hitching slightly during loading on sites like The Verge. Chrome OS was recently updated to better support touch input, which is good news for the Flip. The Flip can be used in four modes, including the normal laptop mode. In the other modes, the keyboard is automatically disabled and an on-screen keyboard will appear for text input. It can be manually opened and dismissed, but also populates automatically when on a text input box. Stand mode gives you a sturdy full screen option, and tablet mode is functional but feels a little bit awkward as the keys are disabled but don't lock. Tent mode is ideal for watching video in cramped locations like planes or for displaying presentations at a pre-meeting lunch. Here you can see a size comparison between the Chromebook Flip and the 11.6 inch Acer C720. With an MSRP of $259 for the 2GB of RAM version or $279 with 4GB of RAM, the Flip is similar in cost to the much more powerful Acer C740 or the larger Toshiba Chromebook 2 with this gorgeous screen and loud speakers. It also has the same performance as the Asus C201, which at $80 less has significantly longer battery, a larger display, and a normal full-size keyboard. So for the flip to make sense for you, you'll want to make sure that the premium build quality, 
touch display, and multi-mode versatility are important to you. If you're on the fence, though, consider getting one of the three Chromebooks I just mentioned instead, as they all give a much better true laptop experience than the small Flip. That said, the Flip is a very appealing device that has many charms. Touch is actually helpful and useful on its smaller body rather than how it feels awkward on a full-size laptop. And for travelers and those whose laptops fulfill many different roles, the Flip is an ideal travel companion that can also act like a tablet for video content or for reading recipes in the kitchen or for doing meeting presentations. If a Chromebook meets your needs and you're looking for a small, touch-enabled device that you'll actually be proud to use in public, the Flip should definitely be on your short list. This has been Voltron 00X reviewing the Asus C100 Chromebook Flip. Check out Voltron00X.com for more information on the Flip and other Chromebooks. Thanks for watching and stay safe out there. Thank you.